A year-over-year -year comparison report is a great way to evaluate the performance of your business over time. The easiest way to create a year-over-year -year comparison is to start with a pre-existing report as a template. First, head over to Advanced Reporting and look over your report list. Open a Sales by Item Detail report. Now you need to clean up and simplify the Sales by Item Detail report. Start by right-clicking the chart and selecting Properties from the pop-up menu to open the Chart Properties menu. Here, you can see all the expressions that are feeding data into your Sales by Item Detail report. In the Expressions list, click on an expression you want to remove from the list and press Delete. For example, select the expression UM, then press Delete. Now, repeat that process, selecting and deleting each of the following expressions one after the other, starting with Memo, then Sales Price, and finally, the Num expression. Next up, you need to alter some of the expressions to see a year-over-year -year comparison of quantity. Under the Expressions tab, click Quantity. Then, under the Definitions section to the right, click here to open the Edit Expressions window. Now, take a moment to look over the Edit Expressions window. This is where you'll be doing much of the work to prepare your year-over-year -year comparison. To get started, first add two backslashes in front of the current expression. This will remove the expression from the chart, but still keep it available for the future if you want to use it later. Next, press Enter at the end of the text. On the second line of the expression, you need to use a set analysis to establish this year's quantity so we can compare it to last year's. Type SUM into the beginning of the second line. Since you're doing a quantity for your transactions, you'll need to enter the following phrase inside the parentheses after your SUM statement. Once you've typed in the first half of the characters of the phrase correctly, QuickBooks will automatically suggest some options for you. Select your field and press Enter. Your selection will appear in the expression you're creating. Be sure to close out your expression with brackets. Another way to work with expressions is to use the menus under the Fields tab to choose the table and fields for your expression. Keep in mind, this is just a different way to achieve the same results as the previous section. Another way to shine a penny, so to speak. Go to the Fields tab in the Edit Expressions window. Open the menu list of all available fields for your table. Choose Transactions from the field options available in your list. Next. Click here to open all of the field options. Select Transaction Quantity with Sign from the list of options available. Once you've made your selections, click Paste to enter the phrase you've created with your selection into the expression window. Now, you need to build out the next portion of the expression by adding a variable. To do this, edit the expression so that it reads as follows. Note that the dollar sign you're entering into the expression represents the records of the current selection. This is part of the syntax you'll use to enter a variable into your expression. Now, go to the Variables tab and click here. Select the Previous Number of Years expression. In your expression, make sure your cursor is between the parentheses next to the dollar sign. Click Paste to enter your new variable into the expression. Now, back to the Edit Expression window. The expression should read as follows. Next, you need to tell the expression what year you want this column to represent. For the purpose of this example, you'll use the current year. However, the syntax here may be a bit different than what you might guess. Instead of entering 2015 to represent the current year, you're actually going to enter a zero to do so. Accordingly, last year would be entered as 1, and the year before that would be 2, and so on and so forth. Type 0 for the current year into your expression, so that it ends up looking like this. Now you need to add another variable into the expression that specifies you're wanting quantity only for your sales transactions. Add a dollar symbol in front of the previous variable. Again, be sure that you add a parentheses after the new dollar symbol for the variable you're adding. Once you've added it, the expression should read as follows. Now go back to the Variables tab. 
From the drop-down options available, select the variable expressions for sales. Be sure the cursor is between the new set of parentheses above and click Paste to add the variable you selected into your expression. Finally, add a comma after the closed parentheses. Your expression should now read as follows. Always remember to double-check your expression for syntax before moving on. Click OK to save the expression. Once you've entered and edited all of your variables into the expression, you'll find yourself back in the Chart Properties window. Now you need to change some labels. Let's rename your expression labels to make it easier for you to read and understand the table and chart columns of your report. If you don't change your labels, you'll just see expressions above the column in your table. Click in the text box beneath the section on the right marked Label. Type the new label for this expression. Now you need to create an expression that compares last year to the expression you just made for the current year. To expedite the process of entering a new expression, you can simply copy the first one you made and paste it right into your expressions list, since you'll essentially be using the same syntax for both. To do this, right-click on Quantity Current Year in the expression list and click Copy. Next, right-click in the blank space and click Paste. Now you'll see a duplicate expression in your expressions list. Next, you need to edit the duplicate expression you copied in the last step so that it expresses quantity for last year rather than quantity for current year. First, you need to change the label. Click in the text box in the label section to edit it. Notice that the label changes in the expressions list as well. Now, click here to return to the Edit Expression window. In the Edit Expression window, switch out the 0 for a 1. This tells the expression to use last year rather than the current year. Click OK to save. Now that your expression is labeled and edited correctly, click Apply. And now you have your year-over-year -year comparison for quantity. If you wanted to do more years for comparison, just repeat the process, changing the number for years you want to go back. You can also do this same process with amount. And that's it! Now it's your turn. Create a year-over-year -year comparison for quantity and amount to better know where your business is and where it could be headed.